some beaches will have police to enforce social distancing rules over Memorial Day weekend. After weeks spent holed up indoors to stop the spread of coronavirus, Americans will emerge from lockdowns to venture outdoors for Memorial Day. There will be beach days, cookouts and park visits. And with the large gatherings, the risk for community spread outbreaks will be high, health officials warn. We'll be having people who want to get out there and get fresh air, Dr. Anthony Fauci said at a CNN coronavirus town hall. You can do that. We're not telling people to just lock in unless you're in a situation where you have a major outbreak going on, we don't have too much of that right now in the country. But that does not mean let your guard down as coronavirus spreads. Go out, wear a mask, stay six feet away from anyone, so you have the physical distancing, he said. Go for a run. Go for a walk. Go fishing. As long as you're not in a crowd and you're not in a situation where you can physically transmit the virus. More than 1.6 million people in the United States have tested positive for coronavirus, which has killed over 96,000 nationwide, according to Johns Hopkins University. Social distancing restrictions still apply all 50 states have now taken steps to ease stay-at-home restrictions. In some states, that effort includes reopening beaches for the weekend, the unofficial start of summer. But officials have issued social distancing restrictions and capacity limits to keep beachgoers and communities safe due to the threat of the coronavirus. In New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, and Delaware, beaches reopen Friday with certain restrictions. Most beaches will be open in Florida, while those in hard-hit areas such as Fort Lauderdale and Miami-Dade County will remain closed. Please, as you go out this weekend, understand you can go out, you can be outside, you can play golf. You can play tennis with marked balls, you can go to the beaches if you stay six feet apart, said Dr. Deborah Burks, the White House Coronavirus Response Coordinator. But remember that that is your space, and that's a space that you need to protect and ensure that you're social distancing for others. Some local officials will take extra measures. Paul Kanitra, the mayor of Point Pleasant Beach, New Jersey, said police will be on the beach this weekend to enforce social distancing by giving warnings or asking people to leave. Nobody wants to be the mayor from Jaws who lets everyone back in the water a little too soon, right, he said. Beaches aren't the only thing that marry open as the weather warms up. In Nevada, Governor Steve Sisolak says he hopes to be able to allow casinos to reopen on June 4. Sisolak announced Friday that the state's Gaming Control Board will make a final decision in its next meeting Tuesday. Nevada casinos have been closed since March 17. Trump says houses of worship are essential in addition to social activities, churches and places of worship have also been a major point of contention. In Mississippi, a church was burned to the ground after it defied coronavirus restrictions. President Donald Trump announced his administration would label houses of worship as essential to mandate their reopening. Some governors have deemed liquor stores and abortion clinics essential, but have left out churches and houses of worship, Trump said. It's not right. So I'm correcting this injustice and calling houses of worship essential. He called on governors to allow churches and places of worship to open right now and threatened to override governors if their states did not follow the recommendations, though he does not have the authority to do so. The recommendations are voluntary. Religious institutions should provide soap and sanitizers, clean facilities daily, and encourage worshippers to use cloth masks, according to guidance from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp tweeted his support for Trump, saying places of worship, especially during these difficult times, are essential. California Governor Gavin Newsom said he welcomes places of worship opening in a safe manner, and he's been working with the faith community on guidelines. Rhode Island Governor Gina Raimondo said her state is not ready to reopen worship centers. In Vermont, Governor Phil Scott said his state will open churches at 25 percent capacity. And in Virginia, Governor Ralph Northam said churches will continue to hold outdoor or drive through services. Just because we've allowed places of worship to open up with those new guidelines, that doesn't mean that they have to, Northam said. So if they're more comfortable continuing the practices that they've been using over the past few weeks, they can do that. Testing confusion in several states meanwhile, at least 11 states confirmed that at some point during the coronavirus pandemic, they have combined viral testing numbers with antibody testing numbers in their reported testing totals, which means there's a risk they inflated overall testing totals. Viral infection tests are used to determine if a person currently has an active case of the coronavirus 
whereas antibody tests are used to look for traces of a past infection. Jasmine Donaldson cleans a movie theater in Auckland, New Zealand, on Friday, May 22. Matakana Cinemas will reopen May 28 with a reduced capacity to allow for social distancing between seats and in the foyer. Chinese Communist Party delegates stand for the national anthem at the opening of the National People's Congress on May 22. The annual parliamentary gathering had been postponed. People visit the Eros Museum of Art in Aarhus, Denmark, on May 22. The museum opened its doors to the public after being closed for two months. Surfers take to the water in Lido Beach, New York, on Thursday, May 21. People visit the reopened Blavin Zoo in Denmark on May 21. People swim at a public pool in Cologne, Germany, on May 21. Christian Orthodox faithfuls attend a liturgy in Athens, Greece, on Wednesday, May 20. People visit Florida's Clearwater Beach on May 20. Florida opened its beaches as part of phase one of its reopening. People walk in Naples, Italy, on Tuesday, May 19. People enjoy the water as Florida's Palm Beach County reopened some beaches on Monday, May 18. Social distancing rules were still in effect. Nuns await a Mass in Rome on May 18. It was the first Mass celebrated by parish priest Marco Navi in more than two months. A worker wears protective gear while cutting a customer's hair at a salon in Nadiad, India, on Sunday, May 17. India's lockdown remains in place until May 31, but many salons and shops were able to reopen. Police walk through New York's Hudson River Park with a reminder about social distancing on Saturday, May 16. Soccer balls are disinfected at a professional match in Dusseldorf, Germany, on May 16. Germany's Bundesliga was the first major European soccer division to return to action. Swimmers pay for suns at the Olimos Beach near Athens, Greece, on May 16. People dance at dusk on the beach in Santa Monica, California, on May 13. A stay-at-home order is still in place in Los Angeles County, but some restrictions have been modified. Beaches open for runners, swimmers and surfers, but not sunbathers. Owner Michael Matson toasts the reopening of the Friends and Neighbors Bar in Appleton, Wisconsin, following the Wisconsin Supreme Court's decision to strike down the state's stay-at-home order on May 13. A customer buys eggs at a market in Kunming, China, on May 12. A woman takes a photo at Disneyland Shanghai after the amusement park reopened in China on May 11. The park had been closed for three and a half months. Visitors are now required to wear masks, have their temperatures taken, and practice social distancing. People eat fries on the boardwalk in Ocean City, Maryland, on May 10. People exercise on a reopened promenade next to a beach in Barcelona, Spain, on May 9. Patrons eat at a restaurant in Bangkok, Thailand, on May 9. Fans cheer during a professional baseball game between the Fubin Guardians and the Unipresident Lions in New Taipei City, Taiwan, on May 8. Tracy Hancock has her hair cut by stylist Jill Cespedes at Shampoo Salon in Fort Worth, Texas, on May 8. Texas Governor Greg Abbott announced that hair salons, barber shops and tanning salons were allowed to open on Friday. A long line of cars forms as a KFC drive-thru reopens in Plymouth, England, on May 8. Sue Conklin, owner of Books Rio V, stocks her shelves in Rio Vista, California, on May 8. It was her first day back at the used bookstore since March 28. A man receives a haircut at Doug's Barber Shop in Houston on May 8. Two men wearing face masks play chess in Montevideo, Uruguay, on May 7. People enjoy a beach that had just reopened in Isle of Palm, South Carolina, on May 6. People stand on social distancing markers at a Mercedes-Benz car dealership in Brussels, Belgium, on May 6. Kelly Watson puts glass in a recycling bin in Springfield, Missouri, on May 6. The Lone Pine Recycling Center had just reopened. Customers wait to get their nails done at the Nail Tech Salon in Yuba City, California, on May 6. A man wears a protective face mask while visiting the Old Masters Picture Gallery in Dresden, Germany, on May 6. The gallery had been closed for more than six weeks. Marco Paivano grooms a dog at his shop in Rome on May 6.
millions of people across Europe are returning to some semblance of their former lives as more countries begin to reopen after weeks or months of coronavirus-related lockdowns. Italy's plan to ease restrictions began Monday, May 4, with many businesses reopening. But there are still many rules in place. People in Athens, Greece, enjoy a sunset May 5 on the Areopagus Hill near the Acropolis. Kaylee Tansy and Justin Smith watch a movie in Kyle, Texas, on May 4. The Evo Entertainment Movie Theater reopened after Governor Greg Abbott lifted a shelter-in-place order and allowed select businesses to open to the public at no more than 25% capacity. People line up at a reopened liquor shop on the outskirts of New Delhi on May 4. The six-week lockdown in India, which was supposed to end on May 4, was extended two weeks with a few relaxations. A man gets his hair cut in Sarajevo, Bosnia and Herzegovina, on May 4. Some retail shops and hairdressers have started to reopen as the Balkan states start to gradually lift coronavirus measures. Teacher Katharina Schneider welcomes back a group of 10th graders who will soon face exams in Etlingen, Germany. Pet groomers wear face masks as they tend to dogs in Bangkok, Thailand, on May 3. The business was reopened as the Thai government eased measures that aimed to combat the spread of COVID-19. Farmer Samantha Alvarez left, hands a bag of onions to a customer at the West Seattle Farmers Market on May 3. Farmers markets in Seattle are reopening with guidelines that include viewer vendors allowed, a limited number of customers, and additional hand washing and sanitizing stations. Tourists visit the Forbidden City in Beijing as it reopened to limited visitors on May 1. Leslie Wilson helps her son, JP, tape off booths at Falcone's Pizzeria in Oklahoma City on April 30. Restaurants in Oklahoma City are being allowed to reopen, and Falcone's Pizzeria is closing some booths to allow for social distancing. A waitress wears a face mask while serving customers at a restaurant in Vilnius, Lithuania, on April 30. The Lithuanian government extended the country's nationwide lockdown until May 11, but it gave the green light for museums, libraries, outdoor cafes, hairdressers, beauty salons and shopping mall retail stores to reopen. Children play on a public playground in Berlin on April 30. Many playgrounds were reopening for the first time. Garment workers wear face masks as they return to work in Dhaka, Bangladesh, on April 30. More than 500 garment factories in Bangladesh reopened. A worker checks a person's temperature as they get ready to reopen a commercial center in Santiago, Chile, on April 29. Surfers in Sydney wait for officials to open Bondi Beach on April 28 as restrictions were eased. The beach was open to swimmers and surfers, but only for exercise. An employee works on the production line at a reopened Volkswagen plant in Wolfsburg, Germany, on April 27. The world's largest carmaker has made 100 changes to the way its plants operate as it tries to restart business without risking the health of hundreds of thousands of workers. A tattoo artist works on a customer in Atlanta on April 24. Despite criticism, Governor Brian Kemp of Georgia allowed tattoo parlors and some other non-essential businesses to reopen. A cashier at the shoe department store rings up a customer at Columbia Place Mall in Columbia, South Carolina, on April 24. Governor Henry McMaster has allowed some stores to open at 20% capacity, or 5 people per 1,000 square feet. Employees wearing gloves and masks clean walls and railings at the Galleria Dallas Mall on April 24. Texas began a retail-to-go approach, allowing retail stores to sell to customers through curbside and delivery. A man covers his face with a mask while getting a haircut at the barber shop in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, on April 24. Personal care businesses in the state have reopened for appointments. A gym patron lifts weight at Fitness 19 in Lilburn, Georgia, on April 24. Georgia is allowing gyms to reopen with some guidelines for social distancing. A person wearing a protective mask walks through the takeout-only food court at the reopened Anderson Mall in Anderson, South Carolina, on April 24. Technicians give pedicures to customers at a nail salon in Atlanta on April 24. Visitors maintain their distance outside the elephant enclosure at Bergzu Halle in Saxony-Anhalt, Germany, on April 23. Under strict conditions, zoos in Saxony-Anhalt have been allowed to reopen after being closed for several weeks.
a child and his father shop at a toy store in Berlin that reopened on April 22. It was the first time the store was open since March. A woman shops at a bookstore in Rome on April 20. In parts of Italy, shops like bookstores, laundries and children's clothing stores have reopened. A groomer trims a dog's fur on April 20 after pet grooming salons reopened in proud Czech Republic. People crowd Queen Kuma Circle in Accra, Ghana, on April 20 after the end of a three-week partial lockdown. Dentist Torben Schoenwelt and clinical assistant student Rebecca Eriksson care for a patient at Harold Dentist's in Parken in Vigil, Denmark. The office reopened on April 20 and is accepting patients again. A beach is crowded with visitors in Jacksonville, Florida, after the city reopened its beaches on April 17. Elementary school children sit at desks spaced about 2 meters, 6 feet, apart in Legumpluster, Denmark, on April 16. Denmark was among the first in Europe to close borders, shops, schools, and restaurants, and to ban large gatherings, among other measures. Now, it is one of the first to begin reopening. On April 14, people wearing protective face masks walk on a small stretch of the Great Wall of China that has been reopened. Chinese officials said in a statement that they will only permit 30% of the usual number of visitors into the area for the time being. Barbara Yang Wenyu cuts a client's hair in Wuhan, China, on April 11, while wearing protective gear assembled from a water bottle, mask and plastic pipe. The first city in the world to go into lockdown and the epicenter of the global coronavirus outbreak is slowly returning to normal. Workers assemble cars at a Dongfeng Honda factory in Wuhan on April 8, the day the city's unprecedented 76-day lockdown was lifted. Click subscribe to receive the latest news.